Go on. No, one, one verse says, it says, when Jesus, he went to Mary. And when he went to Mary, Mary uh, used omnipotent. Use Isa ibn Maryam. Don't use Jesus. So, it says this in the Bible. So what Don't happened was, Jesus. Jesus, when he came off the cross, this, the Bible is saying that Jesus went to Mary, he, 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 um, his mother, and she used Omnimal to fix up his wounds. Do you believe that this supports your no, idea? No, I'm, I'm answering No, this. okay, I know you are, okay. but the, here's the thing. Let me tell you another verse, let me tell you another verse. Okay, go for it. Verse. Second verse is, Jesus, he came to his disciples, and his disciples were sitting around the table I agree, while no. having a feast. Yeah. And they were shocked, they were surprised. Yes. They said, are you a ghost? Yeah. They said, but Jesus said, no, I have hands. Yeah, yeah, touch me, yeah, touch, yeah. touch my wounds. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I know. That, that's two. Okay. And then your question is regarding how did Jesus get to Kashmir? That's correct, yeah. There is a, a hadith that says, yeah. Mirza Qadiani, he, he believed. Umul. Kunzul Umar. Yeah, Kunzul yeah. Umar. Yeah. It said, it says, Hadis, comprehensive Hadis, containing this Hadis in volume 2, page 34. He's reading, are you reading? I'm going to ask you. From Abu Huraira. Uh, I'm, are you quoting from I the Ahmadi Answers no, website? I'm giving you Hadis. I know, I know, but are you quoting from Ahmadi Answers website? No, I am quoting you from my research. So, okay. my research. so if I look at your phone, it's not. It's not. Written you've written this one, okay. Yes. Okay. Is it a Sahih Hadith? Yes. It says Abu Huraira uh, relates. God revealed to Jesus, thus, O oh Jesus, keep on moving from one place to another. Yes. Go from one country. Yes. To another. Yes. Lest those shows be recognized yeah. and persecuted. Yes. So what does it mean? It doesn't mean India. Does I've already it explained it to you. But does it not mean that he went from one place to another? One yes. And to on, another? and the and the so that means and the that means he, okay. he did not only live in Israel. In, he did in not live in Palestine. Uh, we're not saying that. So that means he must have moved out to different countries. We agree. Yes. But Which where countries? Where was Jesus born across? Which countries? Uh, where was Jesus born? Huh? Uh, which countries? These, these countries. Remember, you have to I'll prove. You don't. You, no, 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 look, Muhammad. You don't have to prove that Isa A.S. traveled. No, That's no. not the question. Okay, okay, the okay. question is. Prove that he traveled to a specific destination. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Because Jesus, mm -hmm. he was supposed to go to, to the lost tribe of Israel. These lost tribes are in the other lands such as Baghdad, Iraq, Iran, um, or, uh, towards Afghanistan. Then we took Kashmir. Yeah. Kashmir was the people that used to live there. You know what they used to call themselves? The lost tribe of Israel. No, they didn't. They used to call themselves the Lost Tribe of Israel. What are their names? Exactly. What are the names of the Lost Tribes? The Lost Tribes. The, the names. They had names, but we don't have to look at the Bible. Uh, why would you use the Bible if Muslims claim that's a corrupted book? Bro, just, yeah. That's a different conversation. We have another. Right, that's all. Do you want to keep talking? Yeah. yeah. Just, yeah. That's fine. We, we can talk later. It's not a problem. Oh, you can look at the Quran as well. Maybe. No, the Quran. The Quran doesn't mention the. But, but he went to the Lost Tribes. So the, what that means is, I, you have to substantiate. I, I think to myself. I think to myself. I mean, well, what what I believe is because he even, he went to the Lost Tribe. And there was only ten that were remaining. So that no, there was two. There was no, two that remained. Two that he, he no, he fulfilled it to two in uh, Palestine or. The Israel. other ten were wiped out. The other ten, no, no, no. They were wiped out. They were, wiped out. They, were, they were still there. No, they weren't. There is no evidence. That was First of all, reason. no, there was no, there is no evidence of the existence of any Jews so another, in the no, no, first no, no. century no, no, no. in India. You told me to, uh, you gave me a question. I answered. You. Yes, I know, but I'm just, re I'm, I'm refuting so that. So these are the answers, okay? Okay. So and the last one is the 120 years. 120 years. Yeah, that he died 120 years. This is obviously because it's written by Hazrat Muhammad. Yeah, that's fine. Because it's written by one of the books. The liar, that's why the liar said to you, you believe. Okay, fair enough. I appreciate the honesty. It. No, but I like the honesty. Yeah. The fact that the 120 years is simply because Mirza Ghulam said so. Yeah. Yeah. Fine, I don't mind that. Okay. So here's the th here's the thing. I already said to you, um, with those two verses, it doesn't help. Uh, the two verses that you quoted from the Bible, you have to understand. If you accept the verse, you have to accept the narrative and the context of that verse. Yeah. And the context of that is that Jesus already died on the cross. It's when he was resurrected.
that he went to see his mother and he saw the the uh, disciples in the upper room. No, no, basically, the resurrection. What they what they mean is that resurrection. Basically. No, no, no. Don't interpret for the, for the Christians. The cross. Yes, but after the cross, but he died on the cross. But it's actually referring to Jesus being saved. No. Coming down. No, 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 no. no. Life after after the cross but he died. the narrative is that he died on no but the thing is if you are going to accept a text you have to accept the context no, no, this is what no this is what we do when we no 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 one yes but the truthful parts have to be based on context for you, bro. For us, no it's based on context it's based on when we accept that's, things that's on, opinion, no guys. no it's it's just that's how it is that's your opinion no it's not our opinion this is how exegesis works look Mohammed let me finish let me finish I'll, I'll let you explain your stuff right the, here, here's the issue, all right? When we accept, okay, let me give you the wait, wait, wait. I'll, I'll respond to the hadith, okay? But let me say, Isa ibn Maryam, don't yeah. use Jews, uh, that's Jesus, because the person who put was put on the cross, that they believe he was a Jesus, but we believe Hazrat Masih Isa ibn Maryam. That's we don't right. believe anybody else. You know, so when you ever but, talk to a Muslim, no. talk about only Isa, Masih Isa ibn Maryam, which is the, the Quran, but, which is you believe died, we don't believe died. That's what it is. Yeah. Anyway. That's, um, anyway, Jesus don't use the word in Jesus. So look, That's listen. The Christian word. Here's the thing. Okay. Here's the thing. The narrative. Yeah, no, no, sorry. The narrative that you're taking this from, right? First of all, most, um, like I said, the the narrative of the the healing, all right, of his wounds or the, the ointment is post-resurrection, which means the death already occurred. That's not your claim. That's not your aqidah. So you're saying Jesus did die? No. What are you saying? Right? I'm saying that the evidence that you're using to substantiate your aqidah yeah. doesn't support it. What does it support then? It supports the Christians. It supports the Christians. It supports the Christians. So if you're using it, if you're using those, if you're using those verses, that the, the, the resurrection actually happened, that the crucifixion happened, that he died on the cross. Because if you're quoting, you cross. are, by quoting oh. these texts as the reliable parts of the New Testament, then you are lending support to their claim that Jesus did die uh, on the cross and that he was resurrected. Because the narrative, this, no, no, you are saying this oh. because your narrative that you're pay I'm taking. you Jesus not die on the cross and you're telling me that. No, you I'm are because you're, when you're, you're using the text. Listen, try and listen. The text that you're using, you are claiming it to be authentic and authoritative as part of the preserved portions of the Bible. Okay, no, That's what you're using, okay, right? Is that correct? No, let me ask you Is that correct? Is that what you said? No, so no, he's no, because he's saying like on the criteria that we believe in some parts of it. Yeah, but but the what I'm saying to him is that he's taking this specific part as authoritative. But the part that he's taken is as authoritative lends support to the Christian belief, which which mean, which is why you are indirectly actually instead of breaking the cross as Mirza Ghulam claimed to be doing, you're actually lending support to the cross. Okay? Because you're 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 very you're very no you are verifying their belief by quoting that text. Muhammad, I know what you're saying, but the evidence that you're using is saying the contrary, right? So that's what I'm saying to you. The second part is the hadith, I, I, I accept the hadith because that is the tafsir of chapter 23 verse 50. The part that you couldn't provide evidence for was the fact that he traveled to Kashmir. Now when you saw, were talking about the, the other 10 tribes being spread out into India, there is no evidence for it whatsoever in history. Okay, what about when the, by the Quran when it says, um, Jesus, I will give you a refuge place uh, in the uh, spring waters uh, of... Uh, yeah, it's uh, within springs. it's within those lands. Lush, lush it's ground. within those lands. So where, can you give me an example of lush ground, uh, lush ground uh, a, a, a land which is lush, which is uh, full of spring water? There are there, there there are there are parts of there are parts of Syria that are like there are parts of Syria that are like that there are parts of Palestine like, that are like that. Okay, it's not within a Rabwa does not no 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 because you're using chapter twenty three verse fifty, right? And the hadith that you are, that you quoted is is used in the tafsir of chapter twenty three verse fifty. So you have to address a Rabwa. A Rabwa does not include the land of India. 
Yeah, it doesn't include. Don't say, yeah, we, 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 we say it doesn't. Okay. So then it cannot. No. So then you can't say. I cannot. No, no, what? Then you can't use that okay, no, as an evidence. Okay, no, no. If Jesus, you're saying it went from one country to another. Okay. Okay. Was huh? this before the cross or after the cross? He was never put on the cross. Okay. When was this? Then? Was it before he was risen up or uh, after? He was risen? Obviously before. Because after, how is he going to travel to other lands if he's been risen up? Come on. So Jesus. It's basic, basic uh, sequence of events. <laughs> So then he came all the way back to Jerusalem. Yeah, so? I the f first, of all, first and foremost, there is no area that says where, which country the, um, uh, what do you call it? So the house was when he was raised up. So it just simply says where he was. He was with his disciples, yeah. right? So this is why the Mufassirin infer that he was most likely Palestine, because that's where they were pre uh, he was preaching, right? Um, the, the main point is that you have no evidence to support the claim that he went to Kashmir not from the Quran not from the ahadith you, you quoted the hadith I'll let you quote it and it lends support to us you don't have any, any other Quran verse apart from chapter 23 verse 50 which doesn't support your defeat and you don't have and you don't have anything from history if Quran says it once that's not agreed but except that one verse doesn't say what you're saying it doesn't say it doesn't lend any indication to lands outside okay, Asham. Okay, does it does it mean that it is the land of Israel? Yeah. So Israel is a, full, a land full of uh, springs, spring water. Have you have you land. seen it? No, no, that's what you're claiming. Have you? Yes. Have you not seen Palestine? Palestine has got those lands, right? Aspects, uh, parts of it has got those valleys and and wells and you know it's got this stuff right so he, he took refuge so jesus took refuge he was traveling in order to where he wouldn't be per, uh, persecuted yeah, Halas. He, came, Halas. he came all the way back no, oh see subhanallah i'm gonna go back on something i'm gonna go back on something right do you see how much you want to question us on our details but when we come to question you on your details oh no 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 Death of Isa. I just need. I just need to show Death of Isa. No, but no, but I want to draw your attention to this, right? Because now I'm asking you about your details, which, in, in fairness, you're addressing. But I want you to understand that the details are important. So when the Muslims ask you for the details of your aqidah and the evidence for the details of your aqidah, it only makes sense. I want this to get into your head. I can say the same to you. I agree. This is why we give the details. We say that Barrafa'awallahu ilayh is referring to his raising. Okay. We have the authentic hadith of Ibn Abbas okay, where he says he was raised up through the roof. Okay, the so mannerisms of how. Uh, ah. Why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala take Jesus up alive and not Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Muhammad is Rabbi sallallahu alayhi wa He is the best of all prophets. Yeah. He is the first of all, first of all, first of all, first of all, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was taken up alive. He was taken up alive. He was taken up alive. And, he, and he's still alive? No, when was he taken? So you don't answer. Yeah. You don't ask the question. When was he taken up alive? So Jesus is still alive. No, when was, alive. no, when was, when was, look, so the Jesus death, the death alive, of a prophet, the death, death of a prophet does not diminish his, his, his status. So Rasulullah was given the choice like all the other prophets and he chose to die, okay? So Isa A.S. was not given that choice because it wasn't his time. What, what is Jesus doing in heaven now? Asleep. He's asleep in heaven? He's asleep. So the Tawaffa, and this is why we say, Jesus, this is why we say Taqdeem or Taqdeem. Jesus is not Isa ibn Maryam alayhi salam. Yeah. Uh, tell, you know, they don't look, understand. Taqdeem or Taqdeem. Mirza Qadiani. Listen, listen. Yeah, look, exactly. in the Mutawafika wa Raf, look, chapter me, 3, verse 3. I'm listening, look, I'm, I'm explaining, I'm giving to you. Where does it say in the Quran or any of these that a man can go to heaven and be asleep with the body for? Okay, no problem. Chapter 3, verse 55. Alright. So this was now you're claiming it No, this is because Allah is saying is No, you said you say you say John, give me a verse where it say, where it shows that Allah can do this. Allah is saying it himself that he's gonna do this. Right? And the thing is the, the word being used is in the in Mubarak, right? Which means it's it's happening later. Okay? And this is why I even said to this is why I even said to Razi, Razi will never be able to produce an ayah where the Mahdi is being used, which refers to Tawaffa or Khalat. Al Wafa wal Khala, it will never he, he can't use it. He tried it, he said chapter five, verse 117. I was like, that happens in the future. Because it's mentioning on the on the day of judgment. We already agree he's gonna be dead at that time. So it doesn't work for you. Chapter 5, verse 75, he tried to use. I said this is Qad Khalat min Qablihi Rusul is referring to the other messengers that passed before him. 
Okay, so why does, right? it, not, okay, why does it not say except Jesus? The exception is there. Where? Okay? Where? So when, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is already saying, Bar rafa Allahu ilayh, the exception is there that he's not where, here anymore. Show me any. Show me where um, one of the scholars that have said. Yes. Ibn Ibn Taymiyyah. Ibn Taymiyyah, rahimahullah, right? In Jawab Sahih. If you watched my debate with Razi, you know I brought this up already. Okay. Jawab Sahih. Uh, Ibn Taymiyyah mentions very clearly that tawaffa is of three types. Yeah. Tawaffa al nom, tawaffa al maut, wa tawaffa al al ruh wal bedn. Those are the three. Okay, and he even goes on to say within the same passage, yeah, that uh, what, that there is an exception with Isa Islam because when he was raised, the the aspect of hunger, going to the toilet, to sleep, and the aspect of sleep, it, this all changes for him, right? Because he's in a constant state of sleep, okay, so all right. And he mentions, and Ibn Taymiyyah also okay, mentions, so so as well as. There's nowhere in the Quran that says except Jesus, but a scholar named Hazrat uh, um, Ibn Taymiyyah. No, 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 no. Ibn Taymiyyah is commenting on the Quran. That, uh, so he's the only scholar? No, there's, uh, you, go, you can go to any. Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab, a Suyuti, a Zamakhshari. A Zamakhshari, uh, if anything, right? This is what he says about chapter 33, verse 40. Because you guys always say to us, oh, you believe in another prophet after Muhammad. No. So uh, Zamakhjari actually answers this point very beautifully. And he says this, he says, how can we believe that uh, Rasulullah is Khatim and Nabiyyin when Isa is going to return? He asks that question and he says, and this is what I say, because Isa is Bu'ith, he was sent before Rasulullah. So when he comes again, he is not going to be a prophet after Rasul because he is a prophet before Rasul He's just coming back. This is the uh, this is the uh, this is what Zamakhshari says. But he also Zamakhshari also states about the exception, right? I provide the ajma and I show from Ibn Asakir, Ibn Athir, Ibn Athir, and multiple scholars Al Bayhaqi, right? So I provide so many so many evidences. We have a plethora of sources to prove our position and we have a plethora of evidences that show that Mirza Ghulam's Aqeedah has no grounds to stand on. So if your Aqeedah cannot be held upon, then why do you follow him? That is the question. This is why we ask you, it's not an attack on your Aqeedah, we're asking you to question the Aqeedah, to understand your Aqeedah in the same way that we do, so that you are guided. To be honest, no. it does not make sense for any human to go up alive. Because you are, you, do you know why? Do you know why you believe this? When Muhammad was never taken up alive. He was taken up alive. He was taken up alive. Yeah, yeah. Taken up alive. Yeah, yeah. They don't and he's believe still that. Alive. Yeah. But other human beings. Yeah. And Jesus is the, up alive. It doesn't matter. 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 Why doesn't it make sense? Because Prophet Muhammad is Rambatul Alamin. He's the best of all prophets. Yes, so. One that we love. So. No. So, what is it? the thing is, Subhanallah, Subhanallah, Abu Bakr. The thing is, you guys call the the hadith, uh, the the uh, author of uh, Abu Bakr when Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam died, said, and yet you don't you don't believe in it. What does Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Messenger is Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Who? Uh, Mirza Ghulam. Yes. Well, okay. No. So no, the, no. even 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 if. You even said, if you also said pray even if I accept that said pray for the so, 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 so. they also accept my message no okay no we don't okay because what he says about no, Rasul is Salaam. disgusting you accept Salaam, don't you? yes we do but what we do, what Mirza Khulam says about Rasul Salaam is disgusting yes. okay the it's thing is insulting. yeah Very insulting. the thing is a Nabi can't say that he has a Nabi it's impossible no, as in, as in he's my, uh, he's my messenger. Well, no. Like, like, like Jesus, as, um, like G Jesus said, I am uh, See, the messenger they of, can't uh, mention uh, I am the next coming See, like, of Moses. Yeah, but he said I'm a prophet after Musa. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, he's not no, saying, no. he didn't say he Musa he, was my messiah, uh, was my nabi. He, no, he said, yes, he, he said. He didn't, he, words, no, he didn't say he that. He said that he is He did my, not uh, say that. Predecessor? No, predecessor, yeah. predecessor doesn't mean the same as what Mr. Ghulam is saying. It's completely different. No, no. It is. Basically, what it means is. Bro, now this is just basic uh, English language. Predecessor means someone that came before. Not that he is 
Yes, but he's taken over. Uh, but what, what that means is, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, saying that I am the slave of Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. No, 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 he's a bloody liar. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is my messenger. <laughs> no, everything no. that I say comes from him. Oh. No, no, no. Oh, no. okay. Did, did the, okay? No, no, that's fine. That's fine. Did the Rasul, did the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi mention about Isa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam being put on the cross? Did Isa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam be uh, mentioned about? Isa going to Kashmir. Did Isa, uh, did Muhammad yeah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mention about Isa Sallallahu No, but you, you, you just said that, Mirza Khulam said that everything I say, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, said yeah, yeah. right? Incorrect. He's lying on Rasul Isa yeah. And this is why it's disgusting. Because yeah. Isa Alaihi uh, uh, Wasallam never, ever advocated the idea that Isa Alaihi Wasallam was put to the humiliation of the cross. Never. That was, that, that ran away to Kashmir, that a prophet ran away to Kashmir and that he died at the age of 120. And the thing is... So how old was he when he died? Isa Islam didn't die. Isa Islam... 33. 33. According, to the, according to the majority opinion. Yeah. No, no. Allah, Allah, Allah told in the Quran Allah one day is equal to the thousand year. No, 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 yeah, but the thing, no, yeah. no, but the thing is, it's like, look, it's with regards to the age of Isa, the age of Isa, age of Isa hold on, the age, of, because he has to return. Yeah. He has to return. Yeah. The thing is, there is a hadith. I can't remember the reference, but there is a hadith that speaks about the khuruj of Isa. You know that Isa is going to return, right? The word return is being used. Okay, but predominantly it's nuzul. Nuzul, yeah, nuzul, yeah. nuzul. Yeah. Oh, it's all over, it's all over. Yeah. Uh, a Suyuti authored a book yeah. with all the hadith I mentioned about the Nuzul of Isa yeah. Salam, yeah. Fi Zaman. Yeah. And I, I recommended this to Razi. I don't think he's wrong. You should be followed. What? When? So imagine, right? I'm a Muslim. But no, forget about Khalifa. Look. I want to follow someone. I want to understand the real teaching of Islam. You should have followed. With the ulama. If you want to gain which knowledge. Ulama? Which ulama? Uh, ulama? Which ulama? For Sunnah. No, no, but I want to understand. I want to read. I want to uh, understand the, the. Yeah, you go to the scholars. You go to the scholars. We you scholars. go to the scholars we for the, the 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 ones that have that are reputable. So which sect should I follow? There's no I'm a Sunni. Look. I'm a Sunni. What sect should I? No, 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 no. As a layman, don't concern yourself no, with no, this. No, no. When a person is a layman, they don't concern themselves with this. They just uh, work just on. No, they work on gaining knowledge. All right. In order to follow, because the responsibility is with the scholars. The responsibility is with the scholars. If they, the, okay, if they the lead you as, what? Why if all the scholars are fighting? They're not though, are they? They, don't, they are. No, they're not. They don't accept they have, other scholars. Are no, they have disagreements. There's difference of opinion. This is not fighting. But, okay, they have different opinions. So what? So which opinion is correct? They look. Uh, you as a layman, when it comes to fiqh, okay, you can choose an opinion, right? You're not bound to choose a specific opinion. Okay. You can go, you can listen to two scholars okay. and you can go to with, the e with either one. Yeah. The yeah, the Aqidah is one. No, none, of the, no, none of the scholars disagree with the, with the Aqidah. Yes. Every single... We ask this... No, 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 no. They all believe different. No. No, no, Muslim has no, no different yeah. Aqidah. One Allah, but anyway, one, look, Allah, one Quran, listen, one Rasul. Okay, listen, Allah listen, listen, Muhammad. Allah 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 I'm going to try right. Allah over there. Just over there. Not like Mirza no, no. saying he's my boss. No. no. Allah over there. Always there. Ask anybody. Look, Muhammad, I'm going to end it. I'm going to end it here. The last point I want to bring to you, right? Because you, every time I speak to you, you talk about how could Allah do this, how could Allah do that. You I want you to remember. I want you to remember something, yeah. right? The very f the the f the idea of Isa Islam swooning is an atheistic position. It cannot come from a prophet because the the, the theory on of itself was born of atheism. I can say the same thing. I can say that a, prof, a, pro, a, person, a human being cannot go up alive. Atheistic position? It's an, it's an atheistic yeah, position. Went there if you look at the nature of Allah Allah, if yeah. Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala says all soul is going to suffer death, if it's clearly saying this in the Quran, then how can we say, oh yes, Jesus went up alive? Jesus is coming back. Because, uh, because the Quran doesn't say that Isa Islam is ever living, does it? Does the Quran say that Isa Islam is going to live forever? No. Does any hadith say that Isa is going to live forever? No. no. The thing is, the reason the reason you guys say that this is a shirky belief, yeah. the reason why you say it's a shirky belief is because you you straw man us. You make it look like that we believe that Isa is ever living, which has never been our claim. No. In Sunan Abi Dawood uh, 4324, 
It's very clear that Isa Isa Mudizan, descendant, and he would die at the age of 40. Yeah, he's got a married, he's got a children, he's yeah. got it in a Razul Rawa. I don't know about children, but he will get married. Yeah. Yeah. He says he will get married, but I don't, he doesn't mention about children. But, um, and he will die at the age of yeah. 40, and the Muslims will bury him and, and pray on him. So Jesus, when he comes back, he will marry him. He'll get married? Yeah. He'll get married? Yeah. yeah. And oh my he God, what a lucky married. woman she will be. Yeah, he never before. Well, imagine that woman. She'll be hearing about Isa and then one day she'll marry him. SubhanAllah. Yeah. No, no, I, I was in and Makkah, I was in the Medina. Yeah. The guy, the guy, the guy, the I'm going to